a very good morning to you all my dear children welcome back to english literature class hope you all are keeping fine right children we have started the revision for a uh, uh, third term exam and we have already done the chapter the dying detective and today we are going to start our next chapter that is a uh, revision of next chapter that is chapter 9 the shoemaker and i hope you all remember this chapter isn't it children this uh, lesson is an extract taken from uh, a novel named a tale of two cities by charles dickens charles dickens was a very famous writer he has created uh, some of the world's most memorable fictional characters and Uh, he is generally regarded as the greatest novelist of victorian period okay children so he has done a lot of work related to literature and his novels and short stories continue to be widely popular this novel tells the story of the french doctor dr manet his and his uh, 18 year long imprisonment in bastille in paris and his release to live in london with his daughter lucy whom he had never met here's something about french revolution uh, it lasted for 10 years it began in 1789 the revolution came to an end in 1799 when a general named napoleon overthrew the government and established the french consulate with napoleon as leader so children what is the central idea of this chapter It illustrates the story of an imprisoned shoemaker who had lost his battle with time. Dr. Manet has lost almost all of his memory. Children, this chapter is an emotional chapter and it shows the psychological damage that prison can do to a person. In this chapter, Jarvis Lorry and Lucy Manet encounter Lucy's father, Dr. Manet, who has just been freed after 18 years in the bastille prison with no memory of his family or former life as a doctor dr manet calls himself a shoemaker because that is what he was taught to do in bastille prison this gives the chapter its title the shoemaker children jarvis lorry and lucy manet had found dr manet being uh, with defarge who was uh his employee during his good days and uh, uh, before they encounter him uh, defa told him about his condition and how much he has changed when they uh, visit dr manet they encounter a shriveled white haired man who calls himself a shoemaker not a doctor the prison had basically uh, broken him okay when defarge asked him if he would mind if defarge opened a window and let some more light in dr manet replies that he must bear whatever defarge says he sees defarge as a new prison prison guard and has been completely broken of his free will so that much he has changed he has lost all of his memory whatever he uh, he uh, was in the past nothing is there in his memory and this uh, uh, defarge and uh, uh, jarvis lorry they tried hard to recall all the things whatever happened in the past but all in vain defarge first introduces jarvis lorry but dr manet has no memory of him in fact he seems to have no memory of his life before prison when asked about his name So when asked his name uh, he replies with his prison number he was in prison isn't in, in bastille and he was given a number in that prison that is 105 north tower and uh, this man dr manet uh, he thought that it's his name because from that for 18 years he used to hear this number only as his name okay so he thought that it's his name 105 north tower Lori asks him if he has always been a shoemaker and Manet replies that he learned to make shoes in prison. Then Lori asks if Manet remembers anything about a banker from a long time ago 
and manner seems to have a flicker of recognition but it disappears so children uh, how was his physical appearance this shoemaker how he seemed to appear he was uh, uh, very much weak and he his eyes looked very much tired okay dr manet was looking uh, uh, very tired and very weak he had a white short beard which was raggedly cut that means it was shabbily cut and his face was expressionless okay that is he was having no feeling no emotions he was having a uh, wearing a very toned shirt and he looked very much old and tired uh, from his appearance we can uh, uh, conclude that he seemed he was not in a good condition then deepa said uh, uh, mr this uh, shoemaker uh, he asked him that uh, he knows very well well about shoes uh, pointing to mr lorry uh, as he is very expert he said to the shoemaker to show the shoes on which he was working defaj gave the shoes to uh, mr lorry and he took it his in hand and asked him uh, what kind of shoe it is so at that time uh, he after a long pause dr manage told him that it's a lady shoes and he told uh, this uh, mr lorry asked him who is the maker of this shoe then what he said he said uh, what i told that uh, he always used to say he always used to hear his name when he was present uh, as 105 north tower so he told his name as 105 north tower till then uh, lucy was hiding behind the door she didn't appear before uh, her father or dr manet soon lucy comes to up to uh, the shoemaker's workbench manet asks who she is but then reaches up and touches her hair her beautiful golden hair sparks a memory and slowly things starts to come back to him she seems familiar to him Lucy embraces her father comforting him as he begins to feel sad Lucy promises to take care of her father and tells him they have to get out of France or where they were uh, the shoemaker was or doctor manet was doctor manet agrees to go with them much to the relief of defarge and lorry the man's face was shining with the expression of freedom as if he is now free from all the pain so children uh, this was a summary of shoemaker it was really a beautiful emotional story uh, and children go through the chapter thoroughly uh, right now i just uh, uh, gave the summary of this chapter read line to line of this chapter okay children thank you